Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica Data Quality. In today's tutorial, we are going to see few of the interesting concepts about the IDQ developer and analyst tool and how these two tools collaborate with each other. So those are the things we are going to see in today's tutorial. So let's start. So how, what are the things related to the project collaborated between the IDQ developer and the analyst tool? What we can share between the developer and analyst? We can share project, we can share folders, we can also share the physical data object. Of course, we can share the profiles, reference tables and rules. So these are the six components project folders, PDOs, that is physical data object, profiles, reference tables, and rules can be shared between developer tool and analyst tool. How team can communicate in IDQ environment? Suppose there are two teams, one is development team and the other is business or analyst team. How these two teams can communicate with these tools? In order to communicate, the teams can use bookmarks, they can use data quality scorecards, also tags and comments are also helpful to communicate between the team members. Important thing is data can be exported from profiles or rules and email to business users for review. So along with these four options that is bookmarks, scorecards, comments and tags. We can also export data using profile and rules and send as an attachment to email to business users to review. So these are the ways we, by which teams can communicate. Data profiling and collaboration. Assume profile is prepared by analyst using analyst tool. So we know there are two data quality tool or that is Informatica data quality tool. One is development tool that is IDQ developer and the second is analyst tool. Now assume we prepare profile using analyst tool. Analyst will review the profile and add comments and tags to document as necessary. If there are anomalies then flags will be applied. Developers can see review comments and tags and developer will use this information to create standardization and cleansing and matching routines. So these are very vital and important. The very first thing is uh, the analyst will do the profiling and look at the data, provide some comments and tags and based on those comments and tags or flags also developer can determine what standardization will be helpful or need to be applied what cleansing need to be done or can be applied based on those inputs from the analyst tool or the by the business user also the matching routines will be developed based on these input comments so first the profile will be used by analyst using analyst tool to provide comments and information and the developers will take that as an input and design the the various components in IDQ developer. Collaboration using tags. First of all, we need to know what is tag. A tag is metadata that defines an object in the model repository based on the business usage. So how we are going to use that? We have to create tag to group objects according to their business uses. Assign those tags to design and runtime artifacts. This will help to achieve better label, identity, govern, search, find and filter on those objects. So tags are very helpful to identify the particular label or per identify a particular identity and the govern the whole the process. So tags are important and this is a metadata of given object. Tags assigned to an object in the developer tool appears as tags for the same object in the analyst tool and the vice versa. 
that means if tags are created in developer tools those will appear as the tags in analyst tools or if tags are created analyst tool by business user those tags will be appear as a tag in the developer tool one tag can be assigned to multiple object the developer tool displays a glossary of all tags the tag accessible to all users so these are very important things to remember because tags is, tags are the uh, way of communicating between the different teams can we search tags in developer tool the answer is yes we can search tags in developer tool using search utility which is present in developer tool search can be performed from main search or it can be performed using content object selection during transformation configuration so these are the two ways we can use it tags high fidelity collaboration Rules created in analyst tool appears as a maplet in developer and vice versa. So if you create rules in analyst tools, those appears as a maplet in developer tool. If you create maplet in developer tool, it appears as a rules in analyst tool. So this is this is called as high fidelity collaboration. So rules in analyst tool comes as a maplet, which are very reusable component as a developer perspective. So developers not necessarily always work on the development component. The analysts can help by using, by creating rules. So the business user has a more idea about the data, so they can create rules, and those rules can be leveraged as a maplet, as a reusable component, in the developer tool. So these are the com, uh, these are the things about the Informatica data quality. and we we just saw the various uh, the collaboration between the developer tool and the analyst tool if you have any questions or queries about idq that is informatica data quality you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video thank you for watching this video have a nice time